Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be general love messages from my love deck, the good, the bad, and the ugly. For the sign of Libra, you could be dealing with another Libra or someone that has Libra highly aspected in their chart. So only take what messages resonate from this situation uh, to your situation and apply them as, uh, as they're needed, okay? If it does not sound like your story, do not apply these messages, okay? So let's get started, Libra, and see what's going on with you and your love situation, okay? What are the love messages here for Libra for March 14th? Hopefully y'all are having a good uh, week. Wow. They all want to fly out. I'm not going to take those, Libra. Just give me a second here. Deck keeps getting bigger as the more I add to it. <laughs> I get harder and harder to shuffle, so just bear with me here a little bit, okay? All right. I look at your pictures, social media. Okay, somebody's looking at you, Libra. You may have a secret admirer. Could be dealing with an Aries. I think they had a secret admirer in their last reading. Someone devising a plan. They're looking and they're snooping and they're stalking. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get into it here. We got, I love you more than you will ever know. Someone's saying, oh, I love you. You are spreading. You're showing somebody some love or you're uh, putting good energy out there, Libra. I don't know. Silence. Somebody very silent right now, just kind of staying in the background. That's what I feel like they have not reached out yet. They just want to stay hidden. Okay. We have, I got a tarot reading on you. Somebody got a tarot reading on you. They say, just kiss me, baby. And I'm tired of running. Somebody that runs away from commitments or is not a committal type person. Maybe they like to just play the field. See what's out there, you know? Um, let's keep going. Someone is emotional. I want to conquer you all over and over again. Somebody that is very, um, very sexual and they want to take it out on you, Libra. I'm just going to be honest here. This person is a uh, very controlling and and wants to dominate you a little bit so some domination why is this card hiding under here warning pay attention to the red flag so was hiding under the silent card so pay attention somebody saying hush hush they don't want you to say anything they want you to be quiet somebody could already be in a commitment okay as to why they want you to be so quiet maybe they just want to keep this connection here on on the down low okay all right, we have September, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Virgo energy, a uh, Virgo Libra cusp, either or. I love to watch you sleep next to me, someone that's saying, okay, maybe you've been with this person already. They're saying, I love to watch you sleep next to me when you did, because uh, these are separation reads from what I do here from this deck. So definitely, if you're not in separation, that may not resonate with you. We have teacher, counselor, social worker, so you could... Uh, be someone that this person is learning from now that's going to be different for everyone you could be a teacher counselor or social worker or guide a guidance counselor of some sort you give good advice some you looked up to okay we have time to open up the raw truth so somebody wanting to open up finally they're devising a plan they're being very silent and quiet right now like moving in silence we have you are safe and protected so don't worry someone's drunk on whiskey and getting risky but that player energy here just kind of in and out, kind of doing their thing, not really uh, wanting to settle down here. We have rejection, so somebody could actually have these fears of rejection. That's why they have not uh, reached out to you, Libra. We have, I can't get over you, I can't let go. Someone that doesn't want to let go, but they also could be in a commitment with someone else, whether it's a romantic commitment or just uh, stuck in a, a commitment with family, friends. It's going to be different for everyone, Libra. Let's see what else this person wants to say here. For Libras, what else does this person want to say? Rebellious person may be trick or very tricky or a trickster. Person may have gotten tricked. Being rebellious. All right, we have stuck in the past, not knowing how to move forward. It just could be their rebellion and not wanting to settle down, not being ready, okay? Want, like I said, wanting to play the field. Not maybe they don't know how a relationship is actually a dynamic is a healthy relationship should uh, should work. So they're learning from this teacher, counselor, or social worker here. It says you're my person. 
somebody is saying that they recognize that you are who that they want to be with or who they are supposed to be with i don't know but they're stuck in the past and they're afraid of rejection they haven't reached out to you yet but they want to say they're sorry they're saying my place or yours uh, that's all that one my place or yours so somebody definitely uh you've got somebody hot in their energy or your energy's like really hot and uh, it's letting off the passion so this person is feeling that passion even if you are at a distance with them okay and uh they don't want you to give that passion to anyone else they want that passion for themselves so they want to conquer you all over and over again so they make sure that you don't go for someone else they want to give it to you good so you don't go to another person basically that's just what they're saying we got aries energy you could be dealing with an aries i mean that's your opposite sign here so um also they could have aries highly aspect in their chart or they're feeling that energy right now that emperor energy you know could be a boss i look for you everywhere someone that's looking for you and different people like i said they're out playing around being rebellious just doing their thing not ready to settle down they know you're their person but they still decide to do whatever because they're afraid of commitment and afraid of rejection do you give me purpose because they know you're their person and they know what they're supposed to do or what they should do it's like they know right from wrong they just want to play I knew exactly what I was doing. They knew right from wrong. Player. They just want to be a player. All right. They're saying they're ready to fight for your connection. I have a confession. I'm feeling guilty. So somebody's feeling guilty. They do want to say, reach out and say that they're sorry, but they have not yet. This person anyway has not reached out yet. All right. So we have habitual liar. You could be dealing with a habitual liar. Someone that, you know, believes their own lies, they tell them so much. We have exposed, so somebody could have gotten exposed as a habitual liar, says you are so good to me, so you're probably good to this person, Libra. Um, we had, I saw one night stands, so this person could have probably had a one night stand, it's not going to be for everyone. I'll see if it comes back out again, Libra. Tell us about this person a little bit more. We have miscommunication. Could be due to their being a habitual liar. You know, you believe your own lies. You tell them so much. Um, or this person does. Maybe they're learning not to lie. I mean, that's all they build on lies. Everything's built on lies. Maybe your connection was built on lies. Maybe there was promises and made and promises broken here. It says, let's be honest. Maybe you're telling this person, just be honest. You know, you're out there uh, watching on social media here, but you can't reach out. Because you can't, you believe your own lies. You don't even know what's true or what's not true. Sunrise and sunset. So that could be significant to you. This person could just could have been day and night. This could have been a deeper level soul connection here with the, you know, yin and yang. But I haven't seen that twin flame uh, card come out or the karma card yet. So we have August energy or August um, Leo energy coming out. So you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody that has Leo in their chart. Leo and Aries. So somebody could reach out in August. Maybe you met this person in August. Something happened this past August. All right, we have twin flame. There it is. I just said it. So this could be your twin flame connection that you're dealing with here. See if we can get a few more for you. They act like they don't want to come out, Libra. So your energy just feels kind of nonchalant right now, just kind of relaxed. I don't feel like stressed or anything around this. You don't really know what's going on here. I have so many regrets. This person's saying, and it hurts not seeing you. So they're saying that they miss you. They miss your energy. They miss this connection. We have haters, so you could have a lot of haters around you, Libra. Somebody hating on you, somebody hating on your connection, somebody hating on your person, um, somebody jealous and envious. Somebody wants to know if there was an open door or a closed door. I don't know how to love you the way you deserve to be loved. Like I said this person may not even know how uh, a connection is supposed to be or how a healthy relationship dynamic is, should all right, we have I want I'm the happiest when we're together. Okay.
Okay, so this person can't find anybody else to be happy with the way that they're happy with you, Libra. All right, it says bondage, so this person could be stuck right now. They also feel bonded to this twin flame connection. They're saying, I'm sorry. All right. We got leap of faith. Somebody wanting to reach out, devising this plan because they want a leap of faith. If there was trust broken here, they want to rebuild the trust. It says you are so beautiful. Someone's dealing with mental illness. They may be in trouble. Okay. Now with the law, they may be, they may just be a troubled person because of mental illness. Maybe that's what's causing trouble is the, the conflict, the mental illness. Whether it's treated or, or not treated or known or unknown, we have long-term commitment, somebody going through abuse or somebody being abused. If you know somebody's being abused, please report that. Don't put up with it. We have full moon, so something could have happened this past full moon. Something may be happening this next full moon. For you, Libras, excuse me. Can't imagine. I can't imagine a life without you. Somebody doesn't want me to talk right now. We have April, so that Aries energy twice here. So something could happen in April, August. Also the letter A, so you can have initial, well, you or your person can have the initial A. Um, you're everything to me. Do you believe me? I love you. Like a child support over there that this person is dealing with, paying out money. We got jackpot. I could have thought this twin flame connection was a jackpot. This person could actually have hit the jackpot. Maybe with child support. Maybe they got uh, they got backed up in child support and had to pay out a big bunch of money. Somebody got caught up with that. That's what the trouble was. Maybe they had to go to jail for back, back pay and child support. It's going to be different for everyone. So I want to tell you how I really feel, but I'm afraid afraid of getting hurt. This person's got a lot of fears. They're dealing with some wickedness or somebody that's wicked around them, causing trouble. Could be an ex, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a neighbor, it could be a coworker, it could be anybody, okay? Something's wicked. Maybe you thought your situation was wicked. They're dealing with turbulence and chaos. Ex! I'm still dealing with my ex. Wicked. Wicked. Could be a queen of wands in reverse. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a ho-ho. I mean, that's not every uh, fire sign out there. It's just this fire sign that's coming out. This wickedness here. That's a, that's a queen of wands in reverse. That's a ho-ho. We have Cancerian energy. This person could be a Cancer. They could have Cancer in their chart. They could be an Aries, have Aries in their chart. So we have Reaper, somebody reaping what they've sown. Somebody could be dealing with the Grim Reaper. Leo. Apology. Somebody wants to apologize and reach out. But they could be reaping what they're sowing right now so they can't move. Stop pressuring me right now. They're saying, stop pressuring me. I can only deal with one thing at a time. They got wrongful advice and pride and ego. This person was in their pride and ego doing their own thing because they knew what they were doing. Got themselves caught up. Want to have a family with you. If this person doesn't already, they want to have a family with you. They're letting you know. And I saw Leo again. You can change my uh, entire world. Change what I met you. This person didn't realize how deep this connection was. Okay, being a twin flame connection. And not everyone is in a twin flame connection here, Libra. So, not going to be for everyone. But they do want to have a family with you. New love. I think you're focusing on new love right now. We've got lust, baby. This person just wants the attention, the lust, the sexual part of the connection, just the intimacy. Alcoholic. You could be dealing with somebody that is indulging or overindulging right now. We have lovesick. Somebody lovesick missing you. Jealous. Yeah, we got jealousy. You got some haters. We got legal matters that they're dealing with, probably due to child support. If they uh, owe back child support, may have had to, you know, s serve some time for that or uh, have some kind of consequence for that. You deserve better. So, Libra, you deserve better. This person is dealing with a lot of stuff right now on their plate. 
I want to take you out. Let's go on a date. Somebody wants to take you out. Be prepared that somebody may be reaching out to you to ask you out. You're saying, why can't you just take responsibility for your own actions here? That card wanted to come out. I need you. I want you so bad. Somebody needs you. They want you. They need your help, assistance. They need guidance here. They need some type of counseling or some type of direction as to which way to go, okay? They're devising a plan, but I think they need help with that. We have February, so something could have happened in February. Could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody that has Pisces in their chart. Something could have happened around Valentine's Day. I'm not the same person I was before. Person is saying there's change. There is distance here between you and your person. Stroking my ego. I don't know. We'll put that one back in there, but somebody wanting their ego stroked or had their ego stroked. I said this was a player energy, somebody that just does not want to settle down. So we have May. So definitely a Gemini or Taurus are on the cusp here. Or something could happen in May. I can't stop staring at you, looking at your social media and your pictures. Because you're beautiful. So you are justice. Bridges have been burned. Libra is saying bridges have been burned here. It's done. It's over with. There may not be a coming back from this. It depends on your situation and uh, what went on, what needs to be revealed here, okay? It's going to be different for everyone. I want to know how you feel. Do you love me too? This person's unsure of how you're feeling about this. We have that karmic cycle again, another karmic. So you could be dealing with the Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing now with the Libra. So check those two readings that I've done uh, uh, Cancerians and Aries and there may be messages in there for you too all right all that we've been through and all that we still can be let's give our love one more chance somebody wanting a second chance they're holding on to uh, what little bit of hope that they have left because they feel like you might not care about them anymore or not want anything to do with them now so we got surprise so somebody wants to surprise you so uh be prepared. We got clingy, but it's in reverse. And that's still reminded me of that uh, Queen of Cups energy that you could be dealing with somebody of uh, emotionally upsetting, you know, like a emotional roller coaster playing on your emotions, taken for granted. She could have been taken for granted in this connection. Somebody not appreciating what they had, you know, until you don't know what you got until it's gone, right? Somebody wants to work it out, though. They want to work it out, but they're dealing with a lot of stuff. Like I said, there's too much, there's too much drama on this person's plate. Somebody got busted red handed, no strings attached. They could have get caught in the act here, but they're wanting a new beginning. You could have caught your person. It's going to be different for everyone. Somebody wants a new beginning, but they're saying unblock me and they're scared and they are dealing with the devil right now. So whether it is a Capricorn or not. It could be a Cancer, it could be an Aries, it could be a Pisces. Photos and videos, they're paranoid right now because they don't know how to get out of this situation. They're dealing with the devil. All right, so we have pervert. They could also be dealing with a pervert. Somebody that has those perverted natures. Um, they could have been dealing with a younger energy, someone very young. Uh, maybe that's who this person goes for, younger energies. Says, was it worth it? I think Libra, you're maybe saying, was it worth it to get into all that? Was it worth it? Safe and smart choices. Someone is saying that they're they're making changes or they've made some type of change, and I think they're working towards safe and smart choices. That this person is going to learn their lesson. They've got behind the scenes something happened, and we got catfished. So somebody could have got fat catfished dating online dating here by a. Uh, Queen of Wands in reverse or by um, a Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, which was nothing but a ho-ho. It's out for what you want and get what you want and need. And so basically this person met their match, holding on. They're holding on to this twin flame connection. All right, one night stand. This person had a one night stand and got catfished. December could have been significant. Uh, Sagittarian energy. 
high horse. Somebody needed to be knocked off their high horse so they met their match. Somebody was in their pride and their ego. And then they met somebody who was in their pride and their ego too because they had low self-esteem. So whatever they attracted, whatever they were projecting out there, that low vibrational energy attracted the same, if not worse, energy. And now they have to deal with this devil. So we have Capricorn. Def definitely energy. Stop. Saying stop. They don't want you to talk anymore. Let's get some more messages here. Clingy. Somebody very clingy. Emotionally manipulated. Unstable. Mental illness here. Milk and honey. It's all about money and sex. So you could be seeing synchronicities. You could be seeing number sequences. Your person could be seeing num number sequences. Uh, especially if it's a twin flame uh, connection here. We got like a chance meeting. Somebody met by chance. Open door, closed door. So somebody wants to come in. They want a new beginning. They want milk and honey with you. They don't want it with this other person. All right, we have, I will wait for you no matter how long it takes. I can't make it up. They have photos, they want to make more memories with you here, Libra. All right, they're trying to get their freedom. They're saying, I can't be the only one. I can't get enough of you. So they feel like maybe you might have other suitors or there's some type of competition here around. It says, I love your mind. I love how you think. Something happened at the office or at work or in a work type situation here, okay? I am totally committed to us and you is the, what is their, this person is saying. And they're trying to get their freedom. So something going to happen fall or autumn. No protection. This person's not protected or they don't use any protection. Okay, let's uh, get you some from the karmic deck here. Now, it, it, Libra, if you know that you're not in a karmic cycle or if you're not in a twin flame connection, then these uh, messages may not resonate for you, okay? So only take what resonates for you in, this, in your romantic love situation. Leave the rest, okay? So um, the devil pervert here this person's dealing with. Oh, somebody got busted, and they in a lot of trouble. Whether they've been caught yet, they may be about to get caught. Some of this stuff hasn't happened yet. It will be happening soon. I think you're focusing on new love. I don't think you're taking back a past person. I mean, a lot of you might take back a past person. It's going to be different for everyone's situation. Got a lot of haters around you, Libra. Let me just clean up this mess a little bit and uh, bear with me here. Trying to get your the signs pulled out so I can read those off to you. So, yeah, a lot of... Uh, A lot of facading here, like we're, we're using different alcohol as a coping mechanism or, you know, whatever we're uh, toxic behavior you're uh, masking in in order to fulfill your needs and, and, you know, get away from the hurt and the pain of a situation. So numbing the pain by, you know, having sex with multiple energies here, it's not good. So we got Cancerian energy, we have Capricorn energy, we have Aries, and I thought I saw Pisces in there. So you could be dealing with any of those, uh, Leo and um, Aries. All right, let's get from the karmic deck here and see Libra. What is this karmic, what is Libra's karmic dealing with? What does Libra need to know about this karmic generational curses? Okay, so someone could be have a curse on them from generations passed down that they have to um, clear off some karmic debt. That's a possibility here. Karma is piling up. So they're, as they're clearing karmic debt from past uh, generations, they're building up more karmic debt for uh, our new, newer generations here, our children, our grandchildren, okay? No stability. They don't have any stability over there. They're losing their finances. They're being publicly humiliated. In front of friends, family, neighbors, uh, the community here is looking down on this person or this situation, family, friends, whatever, whoever's involved. 
he or she is threatening me right now. So they're dealing with threats from that devil wickedness over there. Illegal activity is being done behind the scenes. We have out of time. So somebody's out of time. Time is up or it's about to be up. Or they're worried that they're running out of time here. Um, you're glowing up. So just keep shining your beautiful light, Libra. Doing your thing. All right, it says, I live, eat, and breathe you. can't sleep, stressed out. I need your energy, someone that needs you. They also need you for stability because they're losing all theirs. If they have not, they will be being watched. You are being watched. Somebody's watching you, then somebody's watching them, and then somebody's watching them. So know that, Libra. If somebody's watching you, then somebody's watching them watch you. And then somebody's watching that person watch you. So it's nothing with being watched over and over and over by a bunch of different people. So you got a lot of haters. All right, we have, they keep filling my head with lies about you and us. So somebody brainwashing, manipulation over there. My plans failed. So this person is saying their plans failed or this karmic is saying that their plans failed. You know too much. Libra, you know too much. You don't, you shouldn't know this much, Libra. Why, why you be so smart for? Why you be the justice system, huh? We got the distorted masculine. We got the karmic is boring in bed because it's just, it's just for that thing. It's just for fulfilling the need. There's no emotion there. There's nothing. It's just a uh, in and out and we're done. That's it. I can't face the truth. Somebody that can't face their own truth. All right. We have pressure cooker. The heat is on. So we know that it's building up. Somebody's about running out of time if they haven't already. Their pH balance is off because they're not using any protection. So uh, somebody needs to go and get that checked out. That might be a good idea. All right, we have the karmic hurt an earth angel. So Libra, somebody hurt you or intentionally hurt you. You've got a lot of haters. So maybe you know this, maybe you don't know this yet, but you got a paranoid gold digger. They ain't got no stability over there. Or this person was dealing with a paranoid gold digger. Or they're dealing with the gold digger and then they got paranoid. Cowardly. Running with their tail between their legs. Take it the easy street. And the easy street got them catfished with the gold digger. So. All right. We have prostitutes, brothel, and cat house. Definitely. That one keeps coming out today. That one is of significance. Check the cancer reading. Check the uh, Aries reading. We have karmic children or child is causing problems. God is in control of this situation. Do not worry. Run away. They're saying run away from this. Misery loves company. Trying to invade your dreams. So protect your dreams. We have a revolving door. You know, um, everybody gets to turn on the knob, but it's time to lock the door tight on this one. Lock the door tight because they're revolving the door around these prostitutes, this brothel, this cat house, whatever's going on, whatever it's money for sex or, um, whatever corrupt business here, illegal, illegal, illegal activity that's going on. They're now praying for a miracle to get out of it. It's a curse. It's generational curse on this uh, person, on your person, whoever this person is dealing with, they're picking up this person's karma. Now they're going to have to filter out their karma plus this person's karma. Talk about, uh, they talk bad about you because they just want to be a part of your life. So that's why they're hating on you, Libra. Is this because they, they're mad because you walked away from them? Okay, I don't know how to be independent. Someone that just lives on codependency. And we have karmic calling the police. So yeah, the police are getting called by someone here. Maybe your person's called. I'm weak, so I choose less. So uh, we got uh, emperor in reverse here. Somebody very cowardly, because we saw that it was cowardly. Somebody took the easy street. And we got a copycat out there. Someone copying you, your energy. They want to be like you. They want to do everything like you. They want to talk like you. This is crazy. I don't know why people can't just be themselves. Uh, freeing myself. So somebody is freedom. I came out, I think, over here earlier. Somebody is trying to free themselves. I think I'm pretty sure I saw freedom from the BS. 
And we got a fallen angel, so somebody fell from grace here. Let's see if I can get you a couple more. All right, why try when nothing works out for me? Somebody's saying, like, why even bother? Why bother with life? It's like they they have this negative um, this negative vibe towards life. Well, why? Why do anything? Because nothing works out anyway. It's all just negative, that low vibe, that low self-esteem, not feeling good. Uh, you know, things are good out there in the world. It's how you view it. All right. Karmics don't know their true selves. They're too busy trying to be somebody else by copycatting. And they stole from you. So Libra, somebody stole something from you. Whether it's time, it's energy, it's money, uh, they tried to steal your uh, your work in, in some way here, shape or form. Um, but yeah, they're trying to steal it, or they did. God is in control of this situation, so no need to worry here, Libra. Keep on doing your thing. And they're saying to run away from this, so you may want to run away from this connection. Sounds like uh, there's way too much uh, illegal activity going on to be involved. All right, let's get you some numbers and uh, uh, initials here. This could be your first, middle, last initial or the person that you're dealing with. Or this could also be someone that's in your situation, uh, third-party involvements, okay? So only take what resonates for you, Libra, and leave the rest. If you know this is your situation, you're going through this twin flame karmic cycle, then they may be for you. Okay, we have W, or you can take it as an M, either or. We have X, we got W and M, okay? So we have some mirroring of each other, too, here. Whenever I see them back-to-back -back like that, we're mirroring each other. So you and your person right now are mirroring each other. I feel like this person may be working on their issues. All right, we have Nephew, Water Sign, a Libra, a Scorpio. Libra, your energy's here. All right, we have uncle, we have the number five, this one's blue, number seven. We have the letter U. Okay. J. Q. A Pisces. Okay, a girlfriend, an L, a Cancer, a Gemini, a Leo, a C, a T. All right, one or two more. That's good. All right, sister wants to come out on top. So we got a sister, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and we got a seven, a five, and a six. Yes. All right, let's get to it. Let's get the people out first. So we've got an uncle. We've got a sister. We've got a girlfriend that could be involved. We've got a nephew that can be involved. Okay, we have, for energies, we have water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have a Libra. That's your energy. We have Pisces. We have Capricorn. We have Sagittarius. We have Leo. We have a Scorpio. We have a Cancer and a Gemini. Okay, Cancer is really big today for some reason, like Cancerians here. I don't know what's going on with you guys today, but... All right, let's see what we got for the letters and the numbers here. So we've got 75, 76. These, these could be years that you were born. This could be years your person was born. This could be birthdays. These could be anniversaries. Um, they could be months. They could be driver's license numbers. They could be phone numbers. They could be anything, okay? So only take what resonates for you. I've got 75, 76, 57, 56. Uh, 65, 67. If you've been seeing 666, that could be significant for you. I think 555, I said earlier, you may be seeing that. 
Um, pay attention to the red flags here because something is changing here. Blessings are coming in. So you'll have to be able to discern your blessings, okay? Good or bad. We don't know what's coming to us. So just be prepared and, and discern. You have good things coming in, but uh, choosing wisely is going to be a big thing for you. All right, let's get through these. Um, see if I can get you any messages out of here or any names. I hear Kurt. So that could be somebody's name, Kurt or Curtis with a K. Um, I see luck. Luck is on your side, Libra. Don't worry. I also see Lou. So Lewis or Lou. I also see junk. So somebody could be getting rid of junk or just uh, removing, you know, the trash, whatever from their life here. That's like cutting people out, cutting the junk out and removing that BS. I also hear cluck. So some of you may have chickens or maybe you live on a farm or maybe you want to live on a farm. I don't know, but I hear clucking. So it could just be with the haters talking. They could just be clucking their, their bill back and forth. I see thank you. So somebody wants to say thank you. Maybe you've helped somebody recently and they want to reach out and say thank you. I also hear this uncle energy really heavy here. So definitely an uncle could have some influence on this connection. I know there's a lot of people there, but an uncle could be significant here. JT could be significant. JM could be significant. CJ could be significant. KT could be significant. Something with candles or candle wax that could be significant for you. Uh, there's a tux here. So somebody, if you're getting a surprise, I mean, you may be uh, going to a celebration where you need to dress up. Maybe you need to run a tux here. I also see mutt. So that could be somebody's name. That could be your puppy, what you call them. Maybe is a, a mutt. But that could also be like um, us as individuals feeling like an outcast, okay? feeling like the mutt of the, or the black sheep of the family. It's going to be different for everyone. I also hear Mike or, um, yeah, Mike, not Michael, just Mike. I also see it like somebody's trying to be very witty. Quick-witted, I hear. Quick-witted. I also see jail, so somebody could be facing some jail time. I see it's question time, so somebody could be getting questioned, or they will be getting questioned here, especially if there's gel time on the board, uh, which that is for someone here in this in this uh, relationship. Someone is going to have to serve some time. All right, letters we have is W, J, X, M, K, T, Q, U, L, C, okay? So any of those, like I said, first, middle, last, initial, you or your person, whoever you're um, it was involved in this connection here. Okay. So only take what resonates for you and your situation, leave the rest. Hopefully these messages did resonate. And if they did leave me a comment, a like below, and let me know. I appreciate all your feedback and your love and support for my channel. Thank you all so much. Thank you to my supporters and, um, my new subscribers that are coming out there. And thank you to all the subscribers that have joined. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for everything you do. Just being here. And um, I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and holiday week. So um, stay safe and have a lot of fun. Take care.